does a royal ever truly stop being a royal? This is the question that encapsulates the ongoing saga between the British royal family and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The potential removal of their royal titles has stirred up a tempest of public opinion, fueled by speculation from the Daily Mail and other media outlets. The Sussexes' new venture, Sussex.com, along with their Netflix docuseries and Harry's memoir, have all contributed to the maelstrom. Yet King Charles III hesitates to strip them of their titles. What's holding him back? Is it personal affection, familial obligation, or the weight of institutional tradition? Or perhaps it's a blend of all three. This royal dilemma reveals a complex web of personal, familial, and institutional considerations, and it prompts us to ponder. Is the monarchy's reluctance to remove titles a sign of its adaptability or a reflection of deeper familial ties? Does the crown weigh heavier on the younger generation? This is the question that has been thrust into the spotlight as the ongoing saga between the Sussexes and the British royal family continues. It's a saga that has exposed societal and generational divides and has brought the monarchy's relationship with its subjects into sharp focus. The younger demographics, who are typically more attuned to ideas of fairness and equality, might perceive the potential removal of the Sussex's royal titles as an unfair move. Especially when compared to other royals who have retained their titles despite controversies. This situation has highlighted the nuanced public expectations that the monarchy faces today. It's no longer just about maintaining traditions and protocols but also about balancing these with the individual autonomy of its members. The monarchy, an institution steeped in tradition and hierarchy, is now being asked to navigate modern societal norms. The question we must ask ourselves is, how well is it doing? How well is it managing to strike a balance between honoring its centuries-old traditions and adapting to the evolving expectations of a diverse and dynamic public? This is not just about the fate of two royal titles. It's about the relationship between the monarchy and the people it represents. It's about the evolving standards of accountability within the institution and the influence of public opinion on royal decisions. Is the monarchy's ability to adapt being put to the test? That's the question we now find ourselves asking. What does the future hold for a monarchy in flux? It's a question that has been asked time and time again as the British royal family grapples with the shifting sands of public opinion, generational divides, and internal familial dynamic. As we look towards the horizon, there looms a figure of intrigue and speculation. Prince William, second in line to the throne. Once he ascends, it's not unreasonable to anticipate a shift in approach. Will he steer the ship of the monarchy on a different course? Or will he follow the wake of his father's reign, navigating the same waters with a steady hand? Prince William's potential actions carry a weight of uncertainty, but they also bring a sense of dynamism to the narrative of the royal family. After all, each new reign brings with it a fresh perspective, a chance to adapt, and an opportunity to redefine the monarchy's role in a modern world. But the prospect of a future King William isn't just about policy changes or public image, it's also about the personal. The reported estrangement between Prince William and his brother, Prince Harry, has been a source of much speculation. This isn't just a family feud played out on a public stage, it's a potential shift in the bedrock of the monarchy. The dynamic nature of royal family relationships adds layers of complexity to the ongoing saga. The ties that bind are not just about duty and tradition, but also about love, resentment, and reconciliation. The interplay between these elements can be as unpredictable as it is fascinating. The long-term implications of these current tensions are far-reaching. 
They not only impact the individuals involved, but they also shape the public's perception of the monarchy's unity and leadership. Every decision, every action, every silence speaks volumes. And in an age of relentless media scrutiny, nothing goes unnoticed. The evolving relationship between Prince Harry and the broader royal family is not just a subplot in the grand narrative. It's a crucial element that could shape the monarchy's trajectory. Balancing personal grievances with public roles is a delicate act, even more so when the world is watching. As the relationship between Prince Harry and the broader royal family continues to evolve, we are left to wonder. What will this mean for the future of the monarchy? The answer to that question remains uncertain. But one thing is for sure, this saga is far from over. And as we watch it unfold, we are reminded that even in the grandest of institutions, the personal is always political.